another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter where today we are going to be testing the Carbon Express Pal Driver 390 with a brand new string on there. Um, I put a new string on there uh, uh, yesterday so it's set, so it set for about uh, I'll, I'll call it 24 hours for any stretching or anything like that. So today I'm just going to do some few test shots with the crossbow. Um, it was very, very, very easy to change. And I'm going to show you how I did that here in just a moment. But uh, uh, I put the new string on, waxed it up really good. And um, so we are going to see how I did. So let me show you real quick how I did. It only took me maybe five minutes to change the string. So one thing nice is to have the crank. Um, I took my crank and put it on and uh, uh, and uh, Come on. So, here we go. Oh, no, no, not yet. Oh, I'm all tied up here. Okay, here we go. Come on. Why is it my string? Oh, that's why. Here we go. All right. Now, yeah, uh, it's kind of. I think it's kind of. Let me take this off here real quick and pull this out. It uh, doesn't seem to be wanting to come out real, real good. But let me get my crank here and uh, re-crank it. And now let's try it. Pulling the string out. Come on. Am I pushing it down far enough? Well, it's trying to come out. I'll keep trying here. It, uh, that's the one reason I really don't like using this, the crank. Because it doesn't always seem to want to work all the time. I don't know what it is ah and i'm making a mess here on filming this yeah it never goes right when you're doing the filming does it let's pull that one down and let's see if we can pull this one down yeah what is going on here i don't know Other than once it gave me a headache this morning. Yesterday, everything worked just fine when I did it. So today, it wants to give me a headache. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. Unlocking it. It doesn't really seem to unwind. So let's just crank it all the way back up and uh, try it again. Okay, now that we're all done that way, let's pull it off. It seems like 
Okay. There's a bind in there. But I don't know where that bind is. Ah. Okay. I got more string on this side than I did the other side. There we go. Let's see if that works. Yeah. So I got, for some reason, I got more string on one side than I do the other. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. Now let's put these on. Okay, make sure I'm hooked. Crank it up here. So, with the crank, there's a, uh, a hole. Let me... There's a hole. Uh, it's underneath here, underneath the cam. Can't quite see it, so I'll bring it up here a little bit more. A little more. Okay. So, right here, I just put my Phillips screwdriver or screwdriver in that cam hole right there and then I'm not going to back it down but I just unlocked it and I backed it down a little bit and when I did that um, it loosened up the string and I just pulled my string off the cams on each side that way uh, and then uh, put my new string on well I got it here I might as well go just Use the crank and crank it on up. Hear the click. Unlock it. Back it down a little bit. And that's basically all I did after I got the uh, new string back on with the uh, limb silence or the string silencers. And I just let it set uh, for about, uh, I guess it's about 24 hours. So it was very, pretty easy to uh, um, uh, put the string on. Uh, but it only took me four days after I ordered the string to get the string from um, Carbon Express or their parent, comp their parent company. And... Uh, Faradine, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do one more thing here to make sure we're level. And I don't think I got any levels with me. No, I don't. I don't have any levels. Because I'm thinking I am just off kilter here a little bit. I'm thinking I'm okay though. So, but today I'm just going to do. Uh, a couple of test shots, maybe four test shots, to uh, see how we're doing with the string and see if I need to make any adjustments with the string by tightening up the string any or anything like that. So, let me turn my camera on here and I'll make sure that I have it on this time. I am zoomed in, the record is on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send one first shot down is gonna be with the field tip. Get that field tip on there. And we'll see how we do. All right, so I'm gonna shoot uh, middle left. And that one's just slightly to the left. 
So, um, with the new string, I'm probably going to have to do a recite with it. Um, I had a feeling I was going to have to. Because when you put new strings on, sometimes they just don't shoot like the old strings. Okay. So this time around, we're going to shoot a broadhead and see how we do. Okay. So I'll shoot the broadhead center or right. And that one was a little low. Okay. So, yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to have to readjust my sight. I think my string's okay. Um, but uh, let me go down and get those two arrows real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So we'll do another, we'll do another couple more shots here. Um, just for the string sake. And uh, I'm thinking right now my string is pretty good shape. Um, I think she needs to stretch a little bit more. But I think I'm going to have to uh, do a recite on my crossbow. Which is fine. I had a funny feeling I was going to have to do that. Uh, you just don't put a new string on and go out and, sh and uh, go out and hunt with it. You got to make sure it's sighted in good. So let's uh, send this one down, and we'll go top left. Uh, that time wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. We're in the we were looks like we hit the the left corner of the black mark. So we'll do one more here. And uh, see how we do. That was with the field tip. This is going to be with the broadhead. And it's the uh, practice, practice broadhead with the thorn broadheads, the 100 grain broadheads. I'm only shooting 100 grain heads right here right now. Okay. And that one wasn't too bad. Both of them are to the left, but they were better. So I'm thinking maybe a few more shots um, will be good. Um, but I wish I had time to do it today, but I don't. Um, I got some other things I got to go out and do this morning. This is, but again, this is just a quick um, test of my string. Uh, that's all it was for, just for my string. Um, and it seems to be doing pretty doggone good. I think I, my string is perfect. Um, but we'll make them, my, my neighbors Firing up his uh, Harley, I guess. Gotta do it when I'm doing a video, right? Yeah. Bye bye. Let's not make so much noise next time, huh? So, uh, man, it was just a quick video on the, um, the string. This is the, was the string all it wasn't for sighting in or anything like that. Um, I will get out later because I got to. Uh, it's been a packed week so far, and uh, not it's not going as as I planned. But plans always have to change. But I, I'm pretty satisfied how how it's shooting with the new string. We'll just have to come out and spend probably, I don't know, maybe half hour, hour, uh, putting some more uh, arrows down range and, uh, and uh, sighting it in. 
because I'm only down to, I'm probably going to take my um, broadheads off and just use my 100 grain tips just for now to get it all sighted in. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, just a short video on uh, on my string. Um, if you have any questions about how I did it, I'll, I will. Uh, if you want me to, I'll make another video just on how I did the string. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty simple, especially if you got a crank. You can crank it up so far, put your screwdriver in, back it down, take the old string off, put your new string on, put your silencers on if you. If you have them on your crossbow and crank it back down and make sure you uh, um, wax it really good but only wax the exposed part not the uh, uh, intertwinings or your, your or over here because remember your intertwinings here go back into your your, your trigger release if you get too much wax build up in there it can cause a misfire so you just do the exposed portions of your um, of your string. Let me show you here what I'm talking about. Yeah, so only put wax right here, not where you got your uh, coverings here. Don't put wax on that, and put more on over here. Uh, like I said, because if you put wax on here, it could cause a buildup in your firing mechanism here and you don't want that to cause a misfire and you don't want any wax here because it, it could right here it could cause a derailment so you don't want any there um, so like I said I'm pretty good with that for right now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it uh, set another I don't know a few hours 24 hours I don't know in uh, I'm going to try and get back out later today, but I doubt it. Again, i got too much stuff to do today. And tomorrow, I'm, my plan is to be out scouting um, in the morning for my turkeys and looking for their signs. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I said that before, didn't I? How many times did I say it? I don't know. But anyways, um, remember, family first take care of your family by all means get out there and hunt and see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter